So today I hear there's a new 7.0 update to A available. Let's have a look. First, we're on my VCSA vSphere client. So when I say VCSA, I'm pointing to it, right? And we've got some errors. Now, I already fixed the root password issue and reset it to green earlier today, so I'm a little surprised that one came back. But anyhow, let's move along. It's actually the ESXi host we want to focus on here. And you can see we're at 7.02, build 1763055252. Let's have a look at ESXi host client 7.0 update 2. I'd say that's clear wording there. But anyhow, there's some differences in the way it's uh, phrased. Here we can see the image profile. Uh, great. All right. So ready to roll here. Um, I'm going to do an upgrade. I'm going to focus on the ESXCLI command to do this this time. So let's fire that up. And bring up my usual article here, which I'll need to update tonight. And if we look here, we've got all the builds. So let's see if VMware has this. I checked a few hours ago. They didn't. So we're checking out a VMware KB article. Nope. Doesn't show there. All right. So we're going ahead of the curve a little here, and we got to find out what is the name of the profile. So I need to go off and work on that. But anyhow, so we need to know what command to copy and paste in, right? This one is not going to do much good because it was uh, a pulled, and that's all explained up here, right here. All right. So let's have a look at some other sources of information here, like this excellent website, Patch Tracker. Hmm. <laughs> okay, doesn't show there either. So now I get to dig up the tweet or wherever I found this. Stand by. All right, so of course we have William Lamb doing a great job with providing the documentation. Great. And we're getting a little bit of a hint here, including the uh, build number. Cool. So I should be able to uh, figure this out. We have Mike Foley also chiming in. Nice. And uh, Miles Gray, April 27th. Let's check this article out. All right. Now, here's the thing. Does this change? Whoops. Does this change this? Um, let's see. These KBs, right? Let's see if they've updated either of these that have to do with the reason update. Two was pulled in the first place. Nope, that one's not been updated. And that one's not been updated. So this is very early hours of a new release, right? That's pretty clear. Uh, let's see if there's an install or readme, or let's see if we can find it from my.vmware.com. So let's just go to my homepage here. And you'll look at my, here's how to download any which way article, which clearly is going to need updating if I succeed at getting a new version here. Uh, and let's check out the my VMware account method. So let's see if there's a new hypervisor there. So I'm logging in. Soon I'll know. All right, and I've seen this problem before. We really need to log in first before and then bring up the URL again. There we go. So has anything changed here? The answer is no. There's no update to A or any of that yet. All right, back arrow here. So sorry I'm jumping all over. Definitely a bit confusing. Super early to publish a video like this. I'm a little concerned about that. But hey, that's what we uh, you do in a home lab, right? You kick the tires. So it's time to figure out if having this build number is enough to construct ESX CLI command. So I'll work on that next. I'm going to pause the video while I work on that. Let's see how I do. All right, so I'm simply going to take the bill number from here, get that on my clipboard. And now I'm going to update the command that worked last time to this. And we'll see what happens. And if it works, I'll be updating the article. So, uh, okay, it's time for putty. Let's fire putty and let's head on in. All 
All right, let's clean up the desktop a little bit and let's just keep it nice and simple and definitely go larger on this. Paste that in and now simply wait for it. So it's gonna to try to hit the internet there and pull this down. And if this is an invalid build, well, we should get an error to that effect pretty soon here. Now there's a lot of variables, depends on where you're in the world, how fat your pipe is, uh, is it getting slammed? Is it coming from a content delivery network? All sorts of stuff that could happen these first few hours of a new release. And here I am only seven hours after the initial tweets. So soon we'll know. Stand by. I might time lapse this section and speed it up a little bit as we just simply wait. Okay, so I got it wrong. So now it's a guessing game, right? Uh, but I don't really like uh, to guess. So let's see if we can get any more information here that get, might give me a hint on ESXCLI upgrade method. And the answer appears to be no. There's no reference to ESXCLI. Um, let's try a really long shot here. I'm gonna go to this. And, uh, oh, patches. Yeah, we didn't try that. No luck there either. Uh, not so fast. Let's see. Yeah, nope, that didn't do any good. Sorry, I'm totally bouncing around. Again, please forgive me. All right, so what if we take this bill number from here, April 27th, today, and put it in with that search term. And put it in for a search for the last 24 hours. And this isn't going well. <laughs> okay, how about just ESXi in that build version? Ooh, boy. Okay. Wow. So that's going to have even fewer results or no results. Crickets on the internet. Never a good sign. <laughs> All right. Um, dang. Let's see how it was worded on the tweet. Update 2A, just like that. So it would help if I did this. And that did not help. Um, still crickets. Okay. I'm going to have to just try again tomorrow, I guess, when I get a better clue on the command. But anyhow, um, yeah, do another search in case someone just tweeted something out in the last few minutes while I'm recording this. And the answer appears to be no. So what else could be wrong with my simple guess on the image profile? Well, a lot. It was exactly that, I guess. So what we got to do is query what the server has. So rather than just guessing and poking around in the dark, there are ways. There's an only command I recall. Let's see. Yeah, actual run. Let me go back to that. All right, so here we got a dry run and HTTP. Here we go. All the available profiles. So that's the command to do next. Haven't had to use this for a while, but today is the day. Now we're gonna get a lot of stuff, right? But I can search through the results after pasting it to something like, you know, notepad or something to very quickly find what I want. So this should go fairly well here. Let's see if I wrote that down. I wrote this article quite a while ago. Um, cut and paste, spreadsheet. Yeah, spreadsheet's actually a Good idea. Thank you, uh, me, for writing that down for my future self. Spreadsheet, I think, might even paste it into like delimited columns here, which would be a pretty clean approach to getting the desired result. And we're still waiting for the depot to spit out what it's got. Stand by. Clock is at 8.41 PM. Let's see. Ooh, nice. So, interesting, <laughs> nothing obvious, no U2s. Oh dear. 
So that didn't go well either. Um, I don't know what to say. Just, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Maybe I'll reply to this. Let's see if there's any replies to this thread. Whole bunch of retweets now available. Hmm. Um, VCLI. Ah, normally you download an ISO, right? And shove it in the repository. All right, well, sure it looks pretty clear that there's nothing to find here. Um, I was expecting a 702. Okay, but look at the format, 70U1A. So let's let's do one crazy, one more crazy try at success. What if it's not revealed? What if it's hidden? I'm not saying that's likely at all, but I don't know. Um, so what if it's like this, 7.0, U1, U2A, I'm um, following along with the syntax here, right? U2A, we could go U1A, dash, build number. So just get rid of that junk. Okay. Again, ridiculous if this actually works, because that would mean querying all the available profiles from the server um, can't really be relied on. Is there anything to draw or conclude from this early hours video? Not at all. <laughs> Maybe they're still testing rollout. I wouldn't say it was pulled. Maybe it was never on ESXCLI. I don't think it's likely. Uh, last time we had a poll on update two, that took um, more hours than seven, I believe. So I don't know. Again, this is really just me tinkering in the home lab and seeing if I stumble upon a way to get an upgrade done. Um, by the way, I was supposed to roll this machine back, but I didn't. It's a lab test machine. So it's at update two for um, since mid-March, um, six weeks now roughly. And I never did roll it back all the way to update 1C or build whatever it was at. So there's that. So I don't even know if this is supported there and that failed. So I think that's it for this video. <laughs> Maybe someone found it a little bit helpful. I don't know. Um, but thanks for watching. Have a good night. Tomorrow's another day and I'm quite sure and confident we'll have results by then and exactly what to do to do ESXCLI in any lab, even if you don't have ECSA or you just have like one host of ECSA on it. It's just kind of handy. Um, but again, Lifecycle Manager is the preferred approach to updating your ESXi hosts. Okay, where you get a baseline and you apply that baseline. Uh, but you would need the ISO first. Let's just see what happens here. Looks like vCenter has updates, so that's good. Um, but I actually have a problem with my vCenter right now. It's stuck at 80%, and that's uh, actually something that uh, is in one of my articles. Well, it's taking kind of a little extra long. I think the 80% uh, here. Nope, it's not mentioned in that article. Hmm. Where did I mention 80%? Okay. <laughs> I'll do a little better search than that. Come on. So let me not rely on my memory. And let's go and actually check it out. So bring up a browser window. Just right here. And let's see if VAMI comes up. Okay, you can do administrative Rogel or there you go. 92%. All right, so we're stuck at 92%, not 80%. So I got an article about that. And there it is. So I documented this long ago that I'm stuck there. So I got to rebuild my VCSA. So I guess tonight's probably a good time to do that <laughs> based on the latest version available from the download, you know, repository there. Whoops, don't really want to check that right now. Um, so yeah, let's go back to my article 
uh, about how to download it any which way. Well, let's get ourselves that VCSA appliance, latest version. And let's see what we got here. Nope, it is not new. So, is it lying when it says it sees a new version available up here? I don't know. But we're hanging on trying to update the host this way. And I think I'm um, probably losing patience on that updates tab. Um, I guess I'll live for another minute or two and we'll just time lapse speed up this section. Okay, that's been about five minutes now, so we're gonna give up on that and head over here. Nice. Now this is just update planner, right? Um, this doesn't actually do the update, just pre-update checker. So I'll wait for this to finish. Um, but again, I'll feel more comfortable with probably a complete lab reinstall. Probably my ESXi also at this point, since, um, yeah, well, 7.0 update 2 is not something anyone in production would probably ever have been on um, if they, you know, read that VMware did not recommend doing it at this time. Although they did mention you can mount the ISO and still install it anyway if you really want to, that kind of thing. All right. So all this does is punt and say open appliance management. Well, we, we already know where that got us. And that was not very far. <laughs> uh, stuck like this for months where I misspoke early and said 80%, but 92%. Uh, it's been rebooted, by the way. It doesn't matter. Comes back like this every time. Let me show you something else kind of intriguing. On uh, the VAMI menu for login. Uh, yeah, how do we get to, to log off? I guess we got to do like incognito. Let's see if that works. Yep. What happens if we do root? Check this out. Oh, that's right. I changed the password just a second. Update, installation in progress. <laughs> kind of interesting, right? Okay, that's about it. Hopefully you found this video mildly amusing and hopefully a little bit helpful. Um, thanks again for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com. Bye for now. Please consider a, at least a thumbs up, if not a subscribe to the channel. It really does help other people uh, bump into this video out there on the YouTubes.